Nicol winning that battle. The charge is on. Thomas is after him. And a free kick just outside the box. I think the cop were calling for a penalty, but the first shove was clearly outside the Arsenal penalty area. So can Liverpool make it safe now? Can they get the equaliser on the Knights and retain or regain rather that two-goal cushion? A little shove there by Michael Thomas in the first place. Barnes behind it. You watch Nickel in slow motion and you realise how quick he's going. Tremendous power. Staunton and Barnes. My money would be on Barnes as the cops are playing now for this second goal. Barnes playing it short, getting it back to Houghton. And Rowcastle gets it away. Here's Ablett. Into touch by Aldridge. Arsenal's throw. Can't let a couple of great footballing uh, birthday celebrations today go unannounced. Sir Matt Busby, 80 today. I hope Sir Matt is watching, of course. Played here at Liverpool. Came in about 1936, played a few years here before the Second World War. The father of football. And I'm sure the world will send him their warmest congratulations on his 80th birthday. And Stan Mortensen, of Blackpool in England, 68 today. So happy birthday to you, Morty. It's with Aldridge. And suddenly Houghton through! Just over the top. And as you were suggesting, uh, as Arsenal press forward and have released that extra defender, so the gaps might start to appear and the possibilities for Liverpool to restore that two-goal lead. A little touch from there from Aldridge for Houghton. Back to Lukic. Liverpool. Seven minutes to go. Liverpool can comfortably hit the spaces now behind the Arsenal fullbacks. This really is a nail-biting climax now. Houghton. Richardson got it away. Winterburn crossing it and driven his cross in there towards Rowcastle and Robelas there. tension in uh, young eyes and old as we have a little over six minutes left if Liverpool can hold on they are the champions as Arsenal goes searching again for that important second goal it just shows the significance of those five goals against West Ham Dixon kept it in play, found Thomas, found Richardson. On this side is Winterburn, a ball curved into his path, he hopes that Nickel read that well. There are the signals, get forward, get forward. And the time really has come now with six or five and a half minutes left for Arsenal to take whatever risks must be taken as they push themselves forward play on says referee Hutchinson Adams planting it onto the head of Smith down for Winterburn Martin Hayes and now Perry Groves the other substitute the ball is crossed in John Barnes right back there helping out in defense Beardsley but Beardsley has only given it to Winterburn Nicol gets it back to Grovelon Relief amongst the Liverpool fans. A few more seconds go away and exactly five minutes now left in this championship season. Smith, little touch, Rowcastle. Charging through but stopped by Hansen. Ironic, really, that Alan Hansen, who's been such a star for so long, won't qualify for a championship medal. This is only his sixth league game, and you have to have ten. A long spell out with injury, but now it's Beardsley. 
McMahon upping the pace a little bit. Beardsley with a bit of space to move. It'll come to Barnes. Into Aldridge, the flag is up on the far side. So let's leave the clock there now as we come, as you can see, to the last four minutes of the game. Everything hanging now on these last four minutes. A season of struggle that started in August has come right through here now towards the end of May. All to be decided in the last four minutes for the likes of Kenny Dalglish. If his side hold on, they become the champions again. And he becomes the first manager ever to win the double twice. Seconds tick away. Arsenal have a free kick from this sort of position where they scored their crucial goal. Winterburn again will take it, as he did previously. Smith is poised once more as he was to glance the header in. O'Leary is in there too, and Nicol is there to make the clearance, and a valuable one too for Liverpool. It's Arsenal's throw. The clock showing three minutes left. Plus whatever time David Hutchinson adds on for injuries, of course. Perry Groves with a long throw. Adams was in there. Can Hayes get in there too? Hanson, as cool as you like, just stabs it away. And Houghton is pleased to get it away into the Arsenal half of the field. Still the seconds reel away. Thomas. And Arsenal come forward again to the head of Smith, to Martin Hayes. And Abner is there, just ducking it back in his head of a problem. Just a fraction of a second before Tony Adams got there for Arsenal. Aldridge. Beardsley is through the middle. He's offside, though. So Arsenal get the chance to pile another free kick into that Liverpool half. The clock shows two minutes to go. Arsenal fans imploring their team, come on, you yellows, they want that second important goal. But suddenly the break is on. Beardsley leading the charge. Aldridge in a perfect position on the far side. But Lukic is there. He'll want to get the ball forward quickly. Richardson is down with a leg injury. And he's still down. But Arsenal want to go on. 41,783 is the crowd here at Anfield. And not a soul is left before the final whistle, you can be sure. Treatment for Kevin Richardson. Referee will have to add on time. Unless there is an amazing and dramatic twist now, it looks like Liverpool, David. Yes, I think they've uh, set out. They've been very professional tonight. They've made certain of doing the job. They've defended very well in the second half when Arsenal have powered forward in search of the second goal. Barnes, who probably has been as creative and as brilliant a player for them at times this season, has been mainly defending this half and quite happy to do so. And that will all be worthwhile if in a couple of minutes' time they've won the championship. Well, there's John Barnes saying, come on, as he uh, shouts to his teammates, John Aldridge over there. Let's just keep it going for a few seconds more. Richardson is down again. He's presumably will have to go off. And remember, Arsenal have both their substitutes already on. One minute to go. McMahon has got the word from the cop, obviously. But nobody knows quite how much time the referee will have on. But there's a real competitor. And there's a man who really has earned a championship medal. The faces of the players are something to behold at the moment. I think, in a way, if Arsenal are to lose the championship, having had such a lead at one time, it's somewhat poetic justice that they have got the result on the last day, even though they're not to win it. They would see that as small consolation, I would think, David, but you can see we're now well into time added on.
Just a few seconds away now for Kenny Dalglish. Unless Arsenal can mount something absolutely spectacular in the few seconds that remain. Nichols in there, Barnes is in there. Adams has stopped him. Barnes has beaten Adams. Aldridge is waiting at the far side. Adams is after his man, but Barnes will not be denied. Yes, he will, by Richardson, moment ago, down and injured. Arsenal comes streaming forward now in surely what will be their last attack. A good ball by Dixon, finding Smith. For Thomas, charging through the midfield! Thomas, it's up for grabs now! Thomas! Right at the end! An unbelievable climax to the league season. Well into injury time, the Liverpool players are down absolutely abject. Aldridge is down, Barnes is down, Dalgleish just stands there. Nichols on his knees, McMahon's on his knees. Suddenly it was Michael Thomas bursting through. The bounce fell his way. He flips it wide of Grobola. And we have the most dramatic finish maybe in the history of the Football League. The top two challenging on the night. And the title possibly decided in the last minute of the whole season. But wait a moment. Whelan turning it in. And Thomas gets it back to Lukic. We played nearly two minutes of injury time. George Graham would love to get out there and play himself, and so would Kenny Dalgleish. It's agony for them and for the fans. As Liverpool now... For so long, it seemed in command. Set the final whistle. Arsenal, the champions. A momentous occasion, this, for Arsenal. Coming here, requiring a two-goal lead. And snatched it in the most dramatic fashion in the last minute of the game. A hammer blow for Liverpool, for the likes of John Barnes, who over the season have produced football of the most majestic standards. David O'Leary helps Aldridge to his feet, and Aldridge wasn't too happy with that. The cop bravely and gamely applauding their heroes. But the winners are Arsenal, who've gone across to their fans, and they came, it seemed, without a chance. But the Gunners have kept their powder dry until it really mattered. They've denied Liverpool the League and Cup double. Arsenal then champions for the first time since 1971. The ninth time in their history. The first side to win by two goals here at Anfield since 1986. A superhuman effort against the odds and achieved with that goal in the last minute by Michael Thomas. We'll take a break.